Hey, what's up? Chris here uh, with another Stargate SG-1 reaction. Um, yeah, last episode I relatively enjoyed. Uh, this is Season 1, Episode 6, um, titled... What's it called? Cold Lazarus. Uh, looking forward to seeing how... This goes six episodes in now. I think there's 21 episodes this season. <clears throat> so, yeah, um, the full uncut, unedited reaction will be available on Patreon. Link in the description below. And let's just get straight into this. Blue sky. Colonel O'Neill. What have we got here, Tilk? I do not know. Wow. It may indicate a civilization of some kind. Now let's spread out and take a look. Love the color of the sand. I don't see any that aren't broken. Well, these pieces might fit together. There's a whole one. I hope I've got the audio right. Um, it's damaged. Since it's a new laptop, new install of OBS. <clears throat> Is this a set or on on site somewhere? Hard to tell. Nasty. So we're going down the route of the evil clone. Okay, so it didn't happen to Daniel though when he touched it. I'm I'm assuming that's because it was broken. Our place is a, our world is a strange place. Especially about that, would you? 
Charlie is gone, Jack. And we should be talking about us and what happened and not. Yeah? My God. That's actually reasonable. Good effects. Because I think this was 97? It was either 96 or 97. Yeah. That's right, take an alien to the hospital. The MRI was negative. The DNA screen. Is it Colonel? This is buried in the red. What are we doing with the power? Turned off as much of the grid as possible. We shut down all they can. It's all right. I'm not going to hurt you. Nasty. Radiation's dropped off. O'Neill, are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. What's happening? We got 20% emergency power. Radiation's low enough. We should be all right. I'm not sure it's a good idea to take them off, even if you have come to destroy me. Even if the radiation is lower. That's not true. I know you weren't trying to kill me back on the planet. Still low, but I don't know for how long. We have to go. Hope you get him back through the gate. O'Neill's still here. Yes. I wonder if Jack and Sarah will get back together, or if it will. Because this would be a lot to take in for a person who hadn't been exposed to that sort of thing. be too much for her. Sarah. I have to get him back. To the Stargate. Yeah. Whatever that is. 
hands. The other guy. You know what he said? I have a pretty fair idea. We were pretty great together, weren't we? Yeah, I think it would be interesting to see her character develop in the series. Assuming she's not a one-off. Which I sort of think maybe, maybe not. I can't remember if she was in the movie or not. Okay, so that was Stargate SG-1, Season 1, Episode 6, Cold Lazarus. Wasn't particularly a fan of this. I'd probably give it a 6, maybe a 7, because of the sort of stuff that we learned from the alien about Jack and his past and what happened with Charlie, but the episode, yeah, I'm going to stick with a six. It yeah, sort of was a bit boring, you know, I kept on thinking, oh, when's this going to be over? And whenever you feel that way about a TV episode, you know, it's not the best. <laughs> um, yeah had a lot of good character learning stuff about O'Neill. We also learned that um, Carter has a family. I don't think we've heard her family be mentioned in any of these the previous five episodes, but yeah, this was really about sort of showing Jack's past in a way with uh, his kid. I, I sort of got the impression that it was a bit of, in a way, two stories in one. Sort of like you had this crystal story and then you had this sort of story about Jack's past. Okay, so we start off on a very bright and... A lovely, beautiful blue sky, and the sand looked absolutely amazing. We find all these crystals then, uh, that they're granite, not volcanic. Uh, I can't remember the difference. I'm assuming volcanic is created by volcanoes, but granite, yeah, I'm not sure the difference. What happens is Jack's, you know, hit by an energy force from the crystal. They then end up coming back to Earth. Jack's then looking photos of, well, this copy of Jack is looking at photos of uh, Jack's family. Here's where we find out Sam sort of has, you know, her own family. Um, Carter speaking to Daniel about Jack's family and mentioning that Charlie shot himself with Jack's personal gun, which is all levels of messed up. Here we have the entity, you know, approaching Sarah looking for Charlie. He 
the entity doesn't realize that Charlie's dead. Here, this is a really good moment where Tilk is uh, looking through the TV, watching um, all the news reports of the horrible things that seem to happen on this planet, plus uh, rock music. I'm not a fan myself, but <laughs> yeah, I get the feeling Tilk isn't a fan either. Here we sort of get Jack and Sarah's mum, uh, Sarah's dad, sorry, talking about, you know, outliving your own child and how much, how it's unnatural. The Charlie's room, we obviously enjoyed space a lot. We get the impression here that baseball and space were quite prominent. Um... That he enjoyed. Here we get a moment where, you know, we hear, you know, the gunshot and the actual, we don't see it, but we hear what happens, which is absolutely terrible. Here, Tilkham blasts the crystals um, with a staff weapon without permission. <laughs> We sort of find out that the crystals then have been, they were all broken up, destroyed by uh, staff weapons. Here we have them sort of talking about why he left and all of that. But here we have Daniel sort of see a crystal change into sort of a represent a reflection of himself. We end up with uh, Jack coming back through the Stargate. They're not 100% sure that it's him. Here we sort of find out that Sarah, yes, she was angry because it was, you know, Jack's gun and all of that. And he gets affected by the en en decay of energy, and Sarah takes him to the hospital. Yeah, you know, O'Neill was learning that he wasn't the one to come back. There was another one. Um, we sort of have the crystal uh, moment here, talking between, you know, what happened in the past. Here we have them going out of the facility. I think this is Tilk's first time out of the facility. Um, wearing a Chicago hat. Here he continues to deteriorate with his energy. Here's a scene between O'Neill, like actual O'Neill and Sarah. O'Neill mentioning that, yeah, I want to hear all about it. Here they have him talking to the entity, posing as Jack. Jack then, uh, the entity then turns into Charlie, which is a bit, uh, I'm not sure, it's a bit messed up. Yeah, you know, uh, I'd say it would mess Sarah up quite a bit. And yeah, then we have uh, Jack taking him back to his planet. Okay, so that was a breakdown of Stargate SG-1 Season 1, Episode 6, Cold Lazarus. Yeah, no, uh, give it a 6. Really wasn't a fan of it that much. Um, yeah, so that's all. And until next time, I will um, be back for other shows in between. But next week, um, Stargate SG-1 Season 1, Episode 7. Um, if you wish to see the full uncut, unedited reaction, uh, it's available on Patreon, listed in the description below, and as long as well as my Twitter and Facebook account. 
Uh, if you enjoyed this reaction, don't forget to give it a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.